I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and we've come up to the highest altitude here in the Atlas Mountains. I just dropped the camera. <sighs> Ew, what am I on? <laughs> We are just outside of Ait Ben Hadou. Um, it's it's a UNESCO heritage site, and a lot of movies have been filmed here. I don't know if you could see it, but um, I think Game of Thrones was filmed here. Uh, Gladiator, or other movies did <laughs> did her. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember, but a lot of movies apparently was um, was filmed here, and I know for sure that this village here is what they call Yunkai in Game of Thrones. So that's pretty cool. I think we're gonna go inside and after. All right, let's go. So oh. to open it, uh -huh. you need to be the one who made this. Oh. Otherwise, you, you, don't, know not, how. you don't know how. So you, you push this one uh -huh. inside, and then you turn it, uh -huh. and then you push it up. And then you, oh. cool. you can see, inside there, inside there, you can see there like some small sticks of wood coming oh, down. Yes. And then, did you see them? Oh yeah. Yeah. So those ones, they get inside here, oh. and then I lock the, the 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 lock. To open it, you have to make a key mm -hmm. that has like the same holes. So this key can push those sticks up to open the. Oh, the, you see? It's like it's like modern. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, it's locked now. So the the those small sticks goes in into the holes. It locks. Can I try? Yeah. To open so it? you have to do it like this and then turn it. And then right turn. Yeah. Careful, careful oh, with oh. yeah. And then you turn it. Push it up. Take it up. One second. You need to find like in oh. this is then fall. Oh. Yeah. So this is how it works. Mm. You have to push it first, mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and then turn it, mm -hmm. then push it up, mm -hmm. then pull. Mm. So. Cool. <laughs> That's so, neat. Yeah. which I believe means the land of the son of Hadu, I think. <laughs> we learned what Ait means, but now we forgot by the time we got up here. <laughs> but we'll just go with that for now. So what we learned is that in this area, they have um, what they call a kesba. Kesba? Kesba. Kesba. And the kesba is made of four towers in each corner, and it's used as a way to protect this area um, kind of like a fortress. There are little slits in the uh, fortress building um, and small little holes and that's that helps um, the people who are who are defending to um, see when an enemy is coming in or coming into their direction and then that way they can throw rocks at them and that way <laughs> to prevent them from coming in and raiding their area. Um, we also learned that all of these buildings are made from mud clay so they're made with mud and straw mixed together 
then dried for about three days and then they're created into these um, clay blocks and then that's how they build up the buildings and then they uh, as a kind of a stucco they use the clay uh, mix on the outside of the buildings and every four to five years they have to do a uh, maintenance because the rain erodes the mud eventually over time um, we also learned that a lot of famous um, Hollywood movies were filmed here like the gladiator and we actually saw one of the um, the area where they filmed gladiator just down over there and also Game of Thrones and in this area both the Jewish and the Berbers as well as I think the Muslim people all lived in harmony together in peace we also learned about um, the way that they communicated through secret messages what they would do is they would paint with tea or saffron and tea on paper but once it dried there would be absolutely nothing on that paper you couldn't see it only those who knew how to read the messages could actually do so so what they would do is if you knew the secret to these these secret messages you would burn the paper and then the message would would show up but if you were just some random person who received this piece of paper you'd look at it and see that it was blank and just throw it away so it was really cool how they um, would communicate through these secret uh, messages which they would actually tie to the ankles of birds and pigeons or um, any kind of bird they would actually tie it to their ankle and let them fly free and whoever saw the message would get it it's kind of like Harry Potter and um, you know tying the message to the to the owls so they had it here before Harry Potter <laughs> and uh, the river which probably we have some footage of the river here right now is dry there is a little bit of water because it had a big rain we had a big rainfall a few days ago but in the summertime it's generally dry but in the winter and the spring uh, months the uh, runoff from the Atlas Mountains floods the entire river bank um, and so it's filled with water and it's a completely different landscape during that time of year. Movies are very popular here because um, it's a very safe uh, filming environment so um, anytime Hollywood or any country that needs to film um, a scene that's let's say in Iran, Iraq, Yemen, in those countries that are not as safe right now, they will actually come here to film because the terrain and um, the terrain and the location looks very similar to those countries, but it's a safer filming environment for everybody. This location is ideal because it is close to Uazis Arte, which is um, four hours, no, four hours from the ocean, one hour from the mountains, and three hours away from the desert. So it's a perfect location because all of those um, different landscapes are close by. And Uzazarte is known as the Moroccan Hollywood, which I forgot to, <laughs> to mention. Oh, oops. <laughs> I forgot to mention that. <laughs> Another interesting fact is um, before the Hollywood came here to film their movies, uh, these, um, this little town was filled with Berber people, but now with the influx of Hollywood uh, filming as well as tourism, those people have now moved to a newer part of town which is just across the riverbank over there. There are a few, uh, very few families of the, um, that still live in this area, but most of them have moved across the bank. Cheese! Cheese!